Why does he love you so much? Oh, you're tickling my leg. <laughs> Something like about me. your leg. I think it might be my. Moths really like. Or it could be, or it could be my sunscreen lotion, <laughs> my own natural sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi folks, I'm here with David and Brenda of MBS Tandems and this is really exciting because they're letting us borrow one of their tandems to take out and give it a try. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you guys do here. What, do, what services do you offer at MBS Tandems? When we decided to um, specialize in tandems, we changed the name a little bit to MBS Tandems, which is Meadowvale Bicycle Service Tandems from the original name very suitable for us because we've ridden tandem since 1981 so we decided because most bike shops don't carry tandems in their lineup we decided well why don't we do that so now we have 14 tandems in stock at all times and it's great for customers to come here try what they want right around the block it's perfect here very quiet streets and um, and it's worked out excellent for us we also service the tandems um, we do maintenance on them, tune-ups, and uh, we build wheels for the tandems and single bikes. Are you guys still one of the exclusive companies that have tandems in the Greater Toronto Area? Or all have any other all cropped of up? Canada. In all of Canada, wow. We are the largest yes. tandem dealership in Canada. First off, what drew you guys personally to tandems? And then for those that have never ridden one before, what are the main differences? We both did riding in the past on our single bikes but we just found with the tandem i'm the slower rider and he's the faster one so instead of always him looping around to come and get me or wait for me a tandem is the great equalizer because you're both riding together there's time and room for conversation and it's just a great way to go david looks after the front of the bike the gearing the braking the changing of gears i get to tell him where to go <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people seem to think well when you're on the back you really don't have to pedal that's a, a big problem because you do have to pedal whatever happens on either either end of the bike is affects the other person i cannot stop pedaling all of a sudden david cannot stop pedaling all of a sudden it you have to learn to communicate mm -hmm. so there's a lot of teamwork involved uh so it's a good bonding experience for the two riders then. That's I, right. I've seen photos of you guys <laughs> doing um, touring with, with the tandems and such. Uh, what's, what was that experience like? When we first started tandeming with the family, it keeps the, the family together. So our kids would, uh, would ride one at the back and an adult at the front. And it, it was a great equalizer for us because we could ride uh, normal adult speeds of, of tandem which is normally about 20 kilometers an hour uh, with the kids and you don't have to worry about traffic everybody's all in line you don't have to worry about your kids um, not knowing what to do in in uh, on the road we did a lot of family vacations that way our youngest was eight years old when we had ridden the Rocky Mountains she was six years old when we had done the Cabot Trail um, lots of great cycling adventures with them. Mm -hmm. So we've basically done uh, most of Canada and uh, then after after they got older uh, Brenda and I continued and we've done down the west the full west coast down the full east coast of North America and we've been to Europe across France uh, we just finished across Great Britain. If you're interested in checking out Tandems yourself, you're looking to get a rental, I'll link the website and information in the description below for you to check out. Pedal a bit backwards, hop on the seat fully, put both feet on. Get in your normal riding position, put both heels on the pedal. Heels on the pedal? That's right, Correct. for measurement purposes. And then put your left heel straight down. When your heel is on it, it's just touching. So when you are pedaling with the ball of your foot on the pedal, you've got what we call an athletic bend. Mm -hmm. So there's a slight bend in your knee when the ball of your foot is on the pedal. Mm -hmm. That's the most efficient way and the best way to protect your knees when you're pedaling. 
we are out here. We're about to try the tandem bike. It is going to be a whole new experience for Vicky, right? Yeah! I've tried it one time when I was really little, but it was long enough ago that I don't really remember it at all. But look how cool this thing is. Okay, so let's show you guys how to properly get onto a tandem bike. Bear in mind that we are also just doing this for like one of the first times ever, so it may not be super nice and smooth. Let's do this! So, in order to get onto the tandem bike, you, the captain, the person in front, gets on, on first, straddles the bike, feet on the floor, hands on the brake, and then just steadies it and tries not to tilt it in either direction so that Vicky on the back can get on. So, I'm ready. My turn. All right. I'm ready. Okay, now I'm going to have to start to pedal and get on. There is, it's, it feels different. It's kind of like having a trailer in tow. And so when I first try and hop on, the bike may start to lean in either direction. So we just want to try and counter that as much as possible. A lot of communication is needed. Vicky, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Woo! Oh, wobble. Little wobbly, but not too bad. So much fun. B, how you doing? So great! <laughs> it kind of reminds me a lot of canoeing. Get out of the way, squirrel! <sighs> Alright, so we've been tandem biking for a little while now around this beautiful marsh that we have near our house. Uh, Vicky, what's your experience been like so far? It's been so much fun. It's like riding a bike for the first time again. Yeah, like <laughs> what's different about tandem biking versus a regular bike is because there's two people, everything is connected between the two of you. So if I stop pedaling, it forces her pedals to stop as well. Yeah. So like, it can cause jerkiness, and yeah. if you do any sudden sudden braking, sudden uh, shifting or anything like that, yeah. uh, it could throw the other person off. Yeah. So there's a lot of communication involved, there's a lot of like feeling out the other person. It's a great partner exercise. And yeah. it's, it's a lot easier to, to have a conversation because you're right next to each other. You on the also bike. gotta trust each other because Eric's in front. He basically sees everything and you know is gonna prepare us when there's people, when we're passing other people or traffic or whatever it is. He's kind of leading, and I'm at the back. I have to trust that he knows what he's doing, and then we communicate. And then I'm basically I do the hand signals, um, and then. I also get to relax and enjoy the view because I can trust that he's taking us and I just keep pedaling. So it's nice because then I get to, you know, relax a bit. All the same biking rules still apply for tandems versus yeah. a regular bike. So signals still happen. So now just the responsibilities get divided up. So mm -hmm. at the front, as the captain, I don't necessarily need to do the signaling because I can rely on Vicky to do the signaling, but I have to communicate to her exactly. when when we need to turn or when we're when we're gonna start braking. But it is so much fun. I highly recommend it. If you're interested, grab a friend. <laughs> yeah, one requirement of tandem biking is you, you need, need at a least buddy. one friend. <laughs> but this is a different tandem than the one that we were just riding. What's really cool about it is you see these areas. You can actually break this tandem down into parts that'll that'll fit into two uh, suitcases for when you're traveling. And something else that's really cool about it, this is called a shock post, so it helps absorb some of those bumps and things so that it's a little easier for Vicky um, when we go over any rocky areas. This whole tandem is only 27 pounds. And here's a different kind of shock post as well. Serious body V, what's the scariest part about tandem biking? Trusting you. <laughs> what's the hardest part about tandem biking? I think the starting and maybe the stopping because I have to kind of really stay stiff because I'm at the rear end so I have to stay straight otherwise I can basically lean and Eric will follow me. Hardest part for me is when you are approaching an intersection where with like cars on the road and everything because there's 
a couple more steps involved to yeah. breaking on a tandem than than uh, a regular bike. Than a regular bike. Yeah. I'm trying to like remember all the steps of like, okay, I gotta tell her that Ooh, I'm slowing stopping. down. I now gotta, I gotta tell her that I'm braking. <laughs> gotta get her a signal. And, yeah, I'm doing my shoulder and, check, being like, okay, car back. So it's a little scarier to actually stop at an intersection, make a full complete stop than on a regular bike. But it's just one of those things where you repeat it, you keep doing it, yeah. you, it yeah. becomes we're second nature. Yeah, we're getting yeah, we've better. been getting a lot better. Yeah. You feel really connected and bonded to the person that you're riding with and that's probably because you physically are bonded <laughs> <laughs> by this thing. It's definitely a great relationship exercise, great trust exercise, great exercise in general of just learning how to communicate with other people. Yeah, and patience, so highly recommend it. Vicky found a baby bunny that was abandoned on the road and about to get crushed because he couldn't get over the curb. This curb couldn't, she's too small to get up. So he was just running around on the road. So Vicky's gonna put him, put him back on the grass now where it's hopefully safer for the little guy. And hopefully mommy finds him at night. Okay, you stop running off. I think he's cold. He yeah. likes my hands. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna stay right here. That's, that's nice. <laughs> It's really windy today. Hi, little guy. Oh my goodness. I think we found its nest. Okay, stay. So... Hey! What are you doing? You're supposed to stay. Go back in there. Yeah, stay. Where are you going? You're cold! You can't live in my jacket forever, bud. Look at how cold he is! He's shivering! <laughs> it's like, I'd rather be with you. Is that what you want? Oh. Oh my goodness! You can't leave him like that. Oh, baby. Get in your nest. Stay in your nest. He's out oh. again. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so I'm telling you, he wants you. <laughs> his siblings have run across the road without him. Maybe. Oh, oh, he went in on his own. Finally. Okay, good. 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 Okay, okay we'll check on you tomorrow.